Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Um, I've been wanting to tell you this for a while. It's been kind of bugging me. Um, I think I like you. Whoa, I see you as, like, my best friend. Oh, yeah, um, I knew that. Dear Sam, you are very beautiful and I like you a lot. If you want to know who I am, meet me in the upper quad. Scorpions, I'm Destiny with your last live Scorpion News of the Year. Yeah, you heard me right, Scorpions. I said last live of the year. Some bad news has come upon us that some of you may heard, but just in case you haven't, here's a spotlight to get you all caught up. So, sadly, our wonderful broadcasting teacher, Mr. Smith, got a great job opportunity, and we have to see him go. So we went around, asked a few of the students what they would miss most about him. Well, what I'm going to miss about Mr. Smith is that ever since I've been here, I've always kind of felt like he's always never gave up on me. Um, I'm going to miss him teaching me a lot of things. He inspires me to do better in everything. I miss how laid back he is. He's pretty laid back. And um, good luck to wherever you're going and best wishes. It was so much fun coming into this class each and every day. I was always so excited to see you and nobody can replace you as a broadcasting teacher. Okay, so what I'm going to miss about Mr. Smith the most would most definitely be his sarcasm. Um, I'm going to miss him pushing us and making us better students at. Okay, so what I'm going to miss most about Mr. Smith is his knowledge about, um, Broadcasting. Um, the thing I'm going to miss most about Mr. Smith is how he's constantly helping me. What I'm going to miss more uh, more about uh, Mr. Smith is that he was always on top of things. I'm going to miss him most of all because I'm not going to have him first period anymore or second period, which was always my favorite class. And all the things that we learned in this class were just honestly really fascinating. And I'm going to miss that when we have to see him go. I'm definitely going to miss Mr. Smith. He was a very funny guy, had some good sarcasm. He worked really hard for this broadcasting program. I feel like sad that he has to go, but I know it's for the better, and I know he'll miss us too. I love you, Mr. Smith, in the heart. What I like most about Mr. Smith is that when we come up with new ideas, he calls them cute. So here's Mr. Smith with a few words of goodbye. It is with a heavy heart that this will be my last appearance on Asperry Broadcasting. Although my hope um, is that Asperry Broadcasting will live on for many, many more years. Mr. Smith, we all love you so much. You've taught us so many wonderful things. It's sad to see you leave, but we all hope that you have a great time at your new job. Bye. Yeah, it's upsetting, but don't worry guys, next year we'll be back, and yes, we will be live. We will still be producing segments for the rest of the year and putting them on HesperiaBroadcasting.com, so make sure to keep checking in and seeing those segments. I seriously encourage all of you to join this class next year. It's a wonderful experience and I promise you won't regret it. And if you're camera shy, you don't have to be on camera. There's a lot of jobs you can do behind the scenes. Joining this class is one of the best things I've ever done. Join this class and you'll be a lot more experienced with cameras, computers, Photoshop, filming, and so much more. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. There's no school tomorrow or Monday. Hallelujah. I better turn off my alarm before I wake up at 6 a.m. And you guys should too. 
So while I'm doing this, here's Summer and Erin doing their usual fast facts. Then we'll go to Kiara with sports. Hey, Scorpions. It's Summer here. And Erin. With your new fast facts. And this one's about, guess what? Come on, guess. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is a feast for St. Valentine. He was imprisoned for performing weddings for soldiers who were forbidden to marry. Before his execution, he wrote a letter to Astrius, and the letter was signed, Your Valentine. Wow, that's cute. I think we all know what that means. But some of us are um, single. But you must have a crush on someone, right? And if you're shy, just make it an anonymous letter. Not even. Girls don't even like that, do they? Well, I'm a girl. And I would like to get an anonymous letter. So, Scorpions, show some love for this year's Valentine's Day. And watch out for Cupid. <laughs> Summer, watch out! Ugh. Ugh. Are you okay? Summer. No. I never noticed how beautiful no. you no. were. No. I was just kidding. Best Anyways. facts out. Bye. Hey, what's up, Scorpions? I'm Kiara Perez coming to you from Scorpion News Live, and you're watching Live Sports. Okay, so first of all, I'd like to give a shout out to the varsity boys basketball team for winning 48 to 45 against Sultana last week. Great job. And don't even get me started on the game against Oak on Tuesday. I mean, it was one of the most intense basketball games I've ever been to. It was just back and forth, back and forth. Oh my gosh. And we kept it tied all the way through and barely lost it in overtime. Well, round of applause to the varsity boys basketball team for playing their hearts out. They now have a chance in competing in CIF, so I got my fingers crossed for you guys. Okay, Scorpions, so we got tons of games going on today. Starting with girls soccer, we'll be having an away game at Serrano starting at 3. Boys soccer will be having a game here at Hisbury High School also starting at 3. Girls basketball will be having a game in the gym against Serrano also starting at 3. And last but not least, boys basketball will be having a game in the gym starting at 4.30. Oh, and we can't forget about wrestling. They'll be competing in the MRL Finals on Saturday at Serrano, so best of luck. Okay, Scorpion, so now we're going to bring out Miss Juliana Mello, one of the girls from the varsity soccer team. Hi, Julie, how are you? I'm good. Okay, so first question. When we're in a game, I see you smiling from ear to ear and your face lights up when you make a goal. Describe to me the feeling of making a goal. Um, it's the best feeling ever. It's just like a rush of happiness takes over your body. I don't know how to explain it. Okay. <laughs> Who would you say is the most cutest, coolest, all-around most perfect girl on the team? No pressure. Uh, Just kidding, don't answer that. Okay, serious question. What, how do you feel about the game about Serrano tonight? I think we're, do, we're gonna do pretty good. Like we did amazing last time. How we make Tommy proud. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself, Jilly. Okay, Scorpions, so be sure to go to the basketball game or soccer game, or better yet, go to both. And now we're gonna take a quick look at a sports montage and I'll be seeing you guys at the game. Oh, sorry, I just started playing this new game and it's really addicting. But don't worry, Summer and Erin, I did watch your fast back and as usual, it was amazing. And I didn't forget about you, Kiara. I also saw yours and seriously, you were born to be on camera. Okay, so on other news, today is the last day to drop classes. Go to your counselor today at lunch or after school if you have an issue. Congratulations to Chloe Himes and Jessica Corona for being chosen for the 2015 All-County High School Honor Orchestra. 
The concert will be held at the University of Redlands and will take place on Saturday, February 28th at 7 p.m. And admission is free. Another congratulations to the varsity wrestling team for on their fourth place finish at the Highlands Indi Invitational at Bakersfield. They placed nine of 12 weight classes they competed in. Luis Alvarado placed in sixth, Sam Vargas and Carlos Vasquez both placed in fifth, Michael Viramontes placed in fourth, Eddie Orozco placed in third, Brett Gray and Tom Singh going home with second, and Romy Ramos and Alex Hernandez taking first place. Great job, you guys. Seniors, do you want your voice heard in the decisions made for the class of 2015? Come down to the ASB room every Tuesday during lunch and participate in the decisions being made. If you have not purchased your cap and gown yet, then go to the table at lunch next Wednesday and look for the representative from Justin's in the quad. Don't wait last minute, seniors. Get yours now. And just so you know, there's only one more FAFSA workshop. It's going to be next Thursday, February 19th. Both FAFSA and DREAM Act need to be submitted by March 2nd. It's the only way you could collect your Cal Grant and Pell Grant money and qualify for student loans, for college loans, and qualify for college loans. Sorry, guys. Go to FAFSA.gov and start on your free application for financial student aid. Ladies and gentlemen, prom is coming up. For all you ladies who don't want to pay for an expensive dress, here's something you might want to see. We'll also take a look at a preview of a project we've been working on all year. Hey, I'm Kayla, so let's go talk to Ms. Aguilera on Reina's dresses. So Ms. Aguilera, what is Reina's dresses? Reina's Dresses is a local nonprofit organization up here in the high desert. The organization was created to provide formal wear to senior girls who could not otherwise to afford to attend prom. Every year we hold a prom boutique. It's absolutely free for girls who are referred to our program. At this prom boutique, you're allowed to come in and shop for a prom dress, accessories, and shoes, all for free. How do students apply? Oh, students can apply by coming down to the counseling office and speaking with me or their counselor. Um, it is a referral process. You'd have to come down and fill out a refer we'd fill out a referral for you. And if this is something that would help you attend prom because of financial hardship at home, we can definitely be of help to you. Can guys get tuxedos? Yes, tuxedos are available. There is a limited amount of them available. We um, rely on the community and the local bridal shops that um, will offer us a voucher for tuxedos. So there are limited ones. Um, it's a case-by-case -case basis. So hopefully Asperia High School will be able to um, get some of those vouchers for the tuxedos this year. So if you need help, guys, with a tuxedo, you need to come down. What is your name, grade, sport, and or activity? What's your favorite part of high school? I can do weird things without getting in trouble. How do you feel about freshman year so far? More opportunities than what I was given last year. Those are beautiful dresses, and what a great opportunity for students who want to look great but don't have the money to pay for those expensive prom dresses. And as for the project, look for it in late April, early May, when it will be uploaded to HesperiaBroadcasting.com. Class of 2017, we will be going to the district talent show for this year's class act. Any sophomore interested, contact any ASB sophomore, Ms. Doyen or Ms. Padilla. February 23rd to the 27th is the class of 2017's registration, with next Thursday being your orientation. Speaking of orientation, March 5th is the class of 2018 orientation. March 2nd to the 11th is AP exam sign-ups. It's coming soon. So talk with your parents about all those tests you need to take because those can be college credits. <gasps> Finally, it's almost here, Scorpions. I know we've been waiting so long for this. Yeah, I'm talking about Powder Puff. So all you ladies who want to take the field, go sign up ASAP. Sign-ups are at the student store now, so don't wait last minute. And for all you men who think cheerleading is easy, why don't you sign up to be a Powder Puff cheerleader? Congratulations for Terry Maxwell for winning certif certificated Class of the Year, and Tempe Vela Haraski for winning Classified Staff of the Year. Great job, and you both deserve it. Okay, sophomores, this is for you, so listen up. Even though it's a month away, I'm still going to talk about the CAPSI. I want you guys to study your brains out. Not literally, because that would be gross. But please, go to tutoring centers, have a study buddy, or however you want to do it. Do whatever helps you study the best. 
You might hear a lot of people say it's easy, and that may or may not be true, but that doesn't mean you don't have to try and study. Just imagine the relief you'll have after passing for the first time. Juniors, if you plan on taking the SAT in March, you must sign up by tomorrow. If you want to take the ACT in April, you must sign up by March 13th. If you have questions, see Les in the CCRC. If you can't make these deadlines, you'll have one more chance at the end of the year. Go see Leslie if you need to do this. In case you haven't heard, our robotics team has made it to state finals. Congratulations, guys. That's impressive. If you want to see our state-of-the-art robotics team compete, you can go to Pasadena this weekend and watch our team win. See Mr. Wake or Mr. Lockie or any robotics team student for more information. Way to go. Attention Christian Club members, I hope you're all wearing your Christian Club shirts because you're taking your yearbook photo today during lunch. For all you softball players, trials will be next Tuesday. Meet on the varsity softball field at 3 and be sure to dress appropriately. Do you have any questions, comments, concerns, or just want to see past episodes? Go to our website at sperriabroadcasting.com. Follow us at Scorpion News. You can even text us at 760-713-6575. I want to give a quick shout out to Christian Merrick and my girls, Kirsten, Nat Jones, Scarlett, and Monica. I'll see you next year, Scorpions. Bye. A shout out to my boyfriend, Jose Padilla. I love you and I'm super proud of you. Uh, I give a shout out to Mr. Lynch's third period class and Elizabeth Acosta. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey, it's Johnny. I want to give a shout out to my one and only Rebecca. Hope you have a wonderful day. Love you. Uh, hey, it's Gio, and I just want to give a shout out to myself. Love you, man. Hey, it's Summer from Fast Facts, and my shout out is for my boyfriend, Seth Romero. Happy Valentine's Day, baby. Happy Valentine's Day to my love, Daniel Rodriguez. Hi, I'm Luis Gonzalez, and my Valentine's Day shout out is for Maria Lopez. Man, I want to give a shout out to all those beautiful young ladies out there. I mean, I'm single, so if you need a Valentine's, come hit me up. <laughs> I just want to say happy Valentine's Day to my girls, my basketball girls, and shout out to you, Monica, because her birthday is on Valentine's Day. So if you see her around, tell her happy birthday, and shout out to all my friends, happy Valentine's Day. And if you're single, it's fine. No worries. Just live life. Right, happy Valentine's Day to my girlfriend, Jennifer. I love her. Happy Valentine's Day. Shout out to Ariel, Randy, and the rest of the soccer team. Happy Valentine's Day to the varsity girls soccer.